Vaginal discharge is very, very common in women and it can occur at any age, but it is more common during your puberty. This vaginal discharge varies in color, it varies in amount, it varies in consistency, and it also varies in smell. The big question is, what will I do? Should I see a doctor? Should I treat this at home? Or I should ignore? So the various color will determine what you will do. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as the nurse with the difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for all my students. Today, we are going to be talking about the various vaginal discharge. The what? The various vaginal discharge what they signify and what you should do so i'm going to be analyzing this various color so you know okay this is the kind of vaginal discharge i'm having and this is what i should do but before we go into the taste into this class if you are new on our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification button so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers this is me saying Thank you. Let's go there. All right, welcome back. Like Elia said, today we're going to be talking about the various vaginal discharge, what they signify, and what you should do. So I, all I want you to do is to stay to the end of this video so you will be able to detect any change that takes place in your body and act promptly. The first color change I'm going to be describing is a yellow-green color. The yellow-green color vaginal discharge. So if you as a lady, you are having the yellow-green color vaginal discharge, the next thing that should come to my mind is, S C I, which is sexually transmitted infection. Sexually what transmitted infection. And what causes this um yellow to green um vaginal discharge is the trichomonas um vaginalis. Trichomonas vaginalis. It's uh it's a bacteria that causes trichomoniasis. It's so funny how most ladies are very, very familiar with the herbs. They are very, very familiar with chlamydia, but they are not familiar with trichomoniasis. And most infections that have been recorded, they have found that trichomoniasis occurs more. And you know the funniest thing about this um, trichomoniasis vaginalis? Sometimes most ladies are asymptomatic. They don't know they are having this. And what happens? sexually transmitted infection so why they have been having sex with thousands of men sorry not thousands of men why they have been having sex with a lot of men um sleeping around this um infection is being transmitted from one woman to another man from one man to another woman it keeps going like that without that woman knowing he or she has this um, vaginal infection but if the signs and symptoms comes up in that woman the sign you see the symptoms you see include this your yellow and uh, green color vaginal discharge and other signs and symptoms that comes alongside with it there's going to be a bony sensation when passing urine there's going to be a um, soreness of the vagina there's going to be inching around the vagina and the smell could be offensive at the same could be quite offensive at the same time so that can cause cause what yellow green vaginal discharge so if you are having yellow green vaginal discharge it's not something you should treat at home yes it's not something you should treat at home advisable you go to for, for, for tests they find out what is actually causing it though i already give you a, giving you a clue they find out what is causing it it is treatable yes this um uh, bacteria this infection is treatable and it is normally treated with antibiotics which is usually prescribed by your doctor or your general practitioners and during this period it is advisable you abstain for sex for seven days while taking your medication is that okay yes so know that yellow green vaginal discharge could be caused by bacteria known as trichomonas vaginalis which causes what trichomoniasis 
you get and result in the various signs and symptoms which we just listed so when you see a yellow green vaginal discharge it is not normal okay another cause of the yellow discharge is gonorrhea i know a lot of us are very very familiar with gonorrhea 50% of women that have gonorrhea are asymptomatic. So what do you expect? They end up spreading it because they don't know they have it. So they have sexual intercourse and this gets to the other partner. If the other partner is not faithful, this other partner transfers it to an other, another partner. So sexually transmitted disinfection keeps transferring itself from one person to another because it is asymptomatic. But if it is not symptomatic, the signs and symptoms you see is going to be this yellow discharge. It's going to be abdominal or pelvic pain. You're going to be having burning sensation while passing urine. You're going to be having intermeasural bleeding and also pain during sex. So these are the associated signs that makes you think, oh, I could be having gonorrhea. I'm not saying you are. It could make you think so. But the fact is, test confirms all it's all. So when you visit the doctor, you complain about the signs and symptoms to the doctor. It gives the doctor clue of what to expect. That takes us to the second color of discharge women experience. The second color of discharge that ladies or women experience is the red or pink discharge this red or pink discharge it could be normal or abnormal i'm going to explain for example when you when you like you're expecting your menstrual flu at a particular date you go to the toilet and you just wipe and you see some red or pink discharge like oh it's a sign my menses is coming so that is not something you should be worried about you get then another is at the end of your period, you can see some dark red discharge coming out from your vagina. It is normal because um, when you um, when you are your menses is going away, let's use that word. When it's going away, the blood start come dropping in slowly, start dropping in slowly rather than very fast at the very beginning. So it start dropping in slowly. Then this blood is being oxidized. That gives it that color, that dark red color you see. So it's normal and it's not something you should be worried about. Then also this red to pink discharge could happen like post coital bleeding. That's bleeding after sex. Some ladies like when they start bleeding 30 minutes after sex, um, 30 minutes after sex, like within 24 hours after sex when there's a bleeding within 24 hours after sex it is something you should be worried about i think i explained that on my previous video we talks about the nine period signs you should not ignore then another in between their period intermeasurable bleeding that's something you should also be worried about because it's not normal for you to be having what intermeasurable bleeding so i would advise you see a doctor it's better don't joke with your reproductive head like i will always tell you as a lady then an other one that can cause this red or pink um discharge could be pregnancy if as a lady you are after sexual intercourse you know you had sexual intercourse in that particular month you are expecting your period it didn't show up but all of a sudden you started seeing some pink discharge some red discharge that is not your meses it could be a sign that you are pregnant and that could be implantation bleeding so the first advice i would advise you at that particular moment is to do a home uh, pregnancy test to find that to confirm if you are pregnant before you start getting worried then also for ladies who are already pregnant if you are already pregnant and all of a sudden you start seeing red or pink discharge that could be a miscarriage so it's advisable you see a doctor as a lady if you are pregnant and you have any red discharge or bleeding or pink discharge is something you should be worried about yes because that can be a sign of miscarriage especially when it's associated with pain you just have to be more conscious about your body like i will always tell you as a lady a lady's body is super complicated so when i say lady's body is super complicated i mean it then that takes us to the third type of vaginal discharge Third type is the cream or white vaginal discharge. The cream or white vaginal discharge. See, this could be normal. 
But when you have this cottage cheese, cottage cheese um, vaginal discharge that is white, what should come to your mind is trust, trush, trush, not trust, trush, which is a yeast infection. The funniest thing is that yeast, this fungus, this yeast is in the vagina. Yes, it's in the vagina. It is there, it is there, and it is there. There's nothing you can do about it. But it doesn't really affect us because there's a balance. Should I say yes? Let me use it very well. There's a balance between other bacteria in the vagina and that of and the trush. So you don't really um, feel this trust infection. You don't feel it's been affected. But in a situation where you take antibiotics, like you treated some infection, you treated something and you are giving antibiotics, these antibiotics test to kill the bacteria around the vaginal area, thereby making the trush to bring themselves all out. They were making those fungi bring themselves out. So when they come out, they tend to like, oh, we are dominating now. They start growing. You understand? So that will result in a trush infection or the fungi infection. One thing you should know is that those inf uh, fungi, they are already there. They are dead. The trush, they are already dead. So what happened? It comes down with signs and symptoms. You can get that cottage cream um vaginal discharge that signifies there's a trush infection there's a fungal infection uh, there's a yeast infection so what you have to do um what comes sorry the signs and symptoms that comes alongside with it could be um burning sensation inching soreness around that vaginal area so when you visit a doctor and the confirmation is being made by your gp or the doctor um, there are various medications that can be given. You can be given some pastries, you can be given some tablets, and you can be given some um, cream. All these are antifungal creams that help you to, to clear those places, that help you to kill the infection and reduces the fungi that have invaded that particular area. But generally, trash fungi, sometimes they come, they go on its own. You get, but when it becomes worse, it's something you have um, to treat, and it's something you have to take note of. And most times, please don't mistake these pastries for the tablet. The pastries are what you insert in the vagina. The tablets are what you take in the mouth, and the cream, for example, clotrimazole, they are what you rub around that area. So don't interchange those medications. The one that you're supposed to drink don't insert the one that you're supposed to insert don't drink so that is that for the cream or white vaginal discharge some ladies they do have this cream or white vaginal discharge that's their normal color of vaginal discharge that is why it is very good as a lady to you for you to be observant about your body and know your your vaginal discharge the color so when you get something different from normal, you will be able to know, oh, something is wrong. Let me add. Then that takes us to the other type of the vaginal discharge. Then the other color of vaginal discharge um, you should take note of is gray color. Gray. You know gray color. Look at the screen. The gray color of vaginal discharge is associated with bacterial vaginosis. Bacterial vaginosis, which is BV. It, it's not like it's sexually transmitted, it's, uh, in quotes, let me put it like that. It's not like it's sexually transmitted, but it's usually associated, it's usually common with women that have started having sexual intercourse. Yes. So this bacterial vaginosis comes with this gray color, this gray color vaginal discharge. And also, this bacterial vaginosis also comes with a fishy smell like fish you you know i believe everybody in here know fish it comes with a fishy smell and this smell is usually very obvious after you take your baths or after you wash around that area you, you like the smell becomes obvious or even after sex that is when you notice this smell like it becomes fishy so it's something as a lady you have to treat as soon as possible gray vaginal discharge what should comes to your mind is bacterial vaginosis bacterial vaginosis it comes along with what a fishy smell and this smell is usually very very pronounced when you take your baths when you wash the vagina or before or after sex after sexual intercourse they are very obvious you can feel the offensive odor coming from the vaginal area and you know that odor can make your partner get angry you know 
yes so that is that and this bacterial vaginosis is treatable is a bacterial infection so it can be treated with antibiotics it can be treated with antibiotics it takes us to the, to the last color of vaginal discharge which is the clear it's not cottage cheese it doesn't have gray matter it doesn't have red it doesn't have yellow it is just clear vaginal discharge it is what it is clear vaginal discharge there is no smell it is not fruity that is just clear and sometimes you get this um, sticky you know egg yolk egg is it egg yolk so egg white sorry egg white you see how it looks like in your hand when you put it yes so that can signify um that can also signify a good like it's a normal discharge so it's not something you should be worried it's not something you should be worried about like the clear vaginal discharge you put it in your hand it's just there it's like egg yolk so i get a lot of messages from some young ladies complaining about oh i'm having a discharge it's egg yolk like uh, those egg yolk can signify oh she's now ovulation period so if she has sex something is going to happen so it's not something you should be worried about clear discharge does not smell does not cause inching does not cause bony sensation it's just clear and it's normal so one thing i want you to take home from this video is that vaginal discharge is normal in female yes as a woman you have to have vaginal discharge left because during sexual intercourse when you are wet you can call that discharge too <laughs> so as a woman you need you need vaginal discharge so it's normal when it doesn't smell it doesn't cause it's normal when it doesn't smell when it doesn't cause inching when it doesn't cause body sensation after um, during urination so when it causes all this uh, body sensation during urination when it causes when it smells it's something you should take note of and treat as soon as possible but when you're having clear vaginal discharge you're good to go okay thank you very much um i think i made a video already yes not i think i already made a video on how to prevent vaginal inching and also this video can help you prevent bacterial vaginosis this video can also help you prevent um other kind of infection so i'll drop the link on my bio for those that have not watched those vi that video you can also watch it and get idea on how to prevent those inching and all those um, um bacterias from invading your private part don't forget we have the various types of discharge we have the gray discharge we have the yellow green discharge we have the red or pink discharge and we have the um the cream or white vaginal discharge the cottage discharge so when you notice a difference it is advisable you see a doctor get your medication and stay headed thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. And for those that are nursing students that are not part of our classes on Telegram, sincerely, you are missing a lot. All you have to do is to send a message to the WhatsApp number showing on your screen so you can have access to all our audios that help you to prepare for the nursing and midwifery council exam. I still remain your favorite nurse, Miss Mary. Don't forget to drop your questions. Um, though we are having a lot of questions these days, but we try as much as possible to answer as much as we can. But if you want to talk to us one in one, you want to have a consultation, you can send a message to the WhatsApp number showing on your screen. So we help you to give, we help you with health education and also give you advices in advice in regards to your personal and environmental hygiene or your health, reproductive health. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead. Bye. See you in our next video.